And you're welcome. Let's do book chat this morning. And we have Olisa Umera join us for the review of his book titled, So You Want to Start a Business? The Undiluted Truth About Starting and Running a Daily Business, or rather a business from scratch. You are welcome, Olisa. Good to have you here. I like that you're repping, man. Where are you from? I'm an Umbra. An Umbra stage. Yes, there we can see. It's all good. <laughs> nice one. So, Olisa, um, before we started, I was very curious as to what it is you do for a living, apart from being an author. What was that you said again? Yeah, real estate. You do real estate. Yeah, real estate. Was that in any way the reason why you thought of writing this book? No. Was so, um, basically, I mean, like I got lots of people Mm -hmm. um, asking me questions, how do I do this? How do I restart my business? How do mm -hmm. I raise money? And I just said, okay, you, you, you know what? Just put all these answers in the book. In the book, then, okay. So you're successful at what you do then? Sorry? You're successful at what you do? Yeah, quite successful. Okay, because that's the only reason why you want to tell people what to do, you know? <laughs> so let's talk about your book now. Chapter one, entrepreneurship is hard. Period. Yeah. Now, there's a lot of people who actually think that mm, I'm going to resign from this job. I'm going to go start my business. And you put it very, very succinctly inside of your chapter one that it is not easy. Yeah. The privileges are waking up in the morning and not having a boss hovering over your head. Whatever you want to do, you do. But then there's some challenges there in that people really don't know about. And you guys think it's easy? Trust me, I tried. And then Corona hit. Bam! <laughs> but uh, tell us about that chapter, especially um, that chapter one. So basically, I was, I, was, I was just trying to tell my story, you know, how I started. You know, I mean, I, I tried different things, network marketing, tried um, a laundry business while I was in school. I mean, tried different things, basically. And then I discovered that most people get into entrepreneurship because of the, um, the facade. Like, yeah. I mean, they feel it's, it's easy, you just yeah. make money. It gives you that big man status. Gram, exactly. He has his own job, he has yes. his own company. So, um, I, I just have to tell it, you know, exactly the way it is. It's mm. not easy, Ex especially when you run a real business. So there's a difference between trading yeah. and running a business. So you have to deal with accounts, admin, yeah. you know, uh, finance, you have to deal, deal with sales, marketing, you know, a lot of things that you have to deal with. So if you're going to be an entrepreneur, and, and I mean, and nothing is guaranteed. Yeah, exactly. Like, you could wake up one morning and then it's all, it's all gone. Yeah, exactly. So Corona. You have to have that mindset. Yeah. Like I have to understand. I, I keep referring to Corona because that's exactly what happened to me. You know, you don't expect that anything. You don't expect that the world is going to pause no. on you and you have everything set up and then booyah, it hits you in the face like a Mack train and then you're like, what just happened? And you're left there like... Exactly. You know. um, most of these are your personal experience. In yeah. chapter five here, which is how to survive when your business hasn't started paying, there is this uh, chapter here where you say, heck, I even had to sell my mother's used generator once because I had exhausted <laughs> my options for money. At least she knew why I did what I did. I wasn't doing it to splurge. I was doing it to help my business. Yeah. Tell us about that experience. So, um, so at that point in time, I was trying to learn online marketing and mm -hmm. stuff, and then I had to pay for tools, so email marketing tools, you know, ads and all that. Yeah. And I basically didn't have money, you know, and then, you know, that generator was just, you know, sitting down sitting there, down there and doing fallow. nothing. And I said, okay, you know what? I might just sell this thing. And the moment I thought of it, I started looking for who would buy it. And some of these guys that buy... Um, I uncon them. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> You know, I was just hearing one of them pass, and I just called him, and I sold it. Yeah. And some days later, she found out. Wow. And, I, and then, you know, I had to explain and all that and all that. But it's, but it's all part of the story. Mm -hmm. I, just, I, I just wanted to be successful. Anything to be successful, yeah. anything legal to be successful. Yeah. You know, so. So now you're successful, um, but um, in Chapter 9, you also had to tell that you had to start over. And most businesses would actually um, go through that phase, and most people would say, "You know what? I'm done with this. Let's go uh, back into paid employment." Uh, for most ex for most people who go through that, it is the end of their story. Um, but what advice, especially taking from excerpts from your book, do you have for individuals who might be experiencing that and are about to throw in the towel? So, the thing about business is there are a lot of you know what what we call now landmines. There are a lot yeah. of you know hurdles, and so it's like. Every time you're facing one hurdle, so I, I understand that no, ma no matter how successful you are, there's always one something in front trying to, you know, a challenge. You know, exactly. So it's just, I mean, somewhere in chapter one, I talked about mental toughness. You know, okay, so yeah. You just, yeah. you just have to be men to be mentally tough all the time. So like that should be the first thing that you're actually conditioning for. Exactly. So w once you're mentally tough, you know, no matter what comes your way, you just keep looking for new ways to surmount your challenges. And if one, if one business happens to, you know, end, pack up. you know, pack up, right? You just have to find or look for the next mm -hmm. thing, you know? And 
there are businesses that you'll start and then you will know that, you know, the, like, the, the economy would always need these businesses, like yeah. real estate, for instance. So you just have to keep innovating, looking yeah. for how to, you know, improve. And innovation is business. actually a very key factor exactly. when you're starting a business. I mean, if you now, don't innovate, you um, How long has the book been out? Two years. Two years. So you want to start a business. Yeah. Now, uh, from the two years, the past two years, and everybody who has read this book, what is your best experience that you've, you've heard from any reader? So, the, I mean, the common thing I've heard is, I've read it twice, I've read it three times, I've read it five times. And the way I write, I mean, I, I write like I'm talking to you. So Very it's, true. It's very I nice. actually it's, like that. Yeah, so, I mean, it's easy to read. Yeah. And I, I didn't try to, you know, motivate or do anything. I just tried mm -hmm. to tell my story. And pe people have read it severally. So when I hear them say, I've read it four times, I'm like, oh. I mean, that's, 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 very relatable. that's fulfilling, yeah. Yeah, that's, a, that's, that's very interesting. And that's what I thought myself when I read it. I'm not done yet. I'm still at the very final page. It's only just started yesterday. I'm not a fast reader. But I find it very, very relatable. That's one thing. Yeah. The fact that you're talking from experiences and things that everybody else has gone through, especially people who are, yeah, who have tried one, two or three businesses. I can't tell you how many I've tried. <laughs> but yeah. So you would advise who to have this book? So anyone who wants to start a business, Obviously. And anyone who um, is already in business, but I mean, they just can't figure out so many things. I mean, there's legal, there's accounts, there's taxes, you know. Mm -hmm. Some people want to know what kind of business should I register, a business name or a limited company. I wrote something about that there, mm -hmm. you know. So if you're new in business, if you've started a business, you know, or you want someone else's, you know, um, perspective, uh -huh. then you should read the book. Yeah, I also want to commend the fact that it is very nicely printed. Fantastic. I don't know who your publisher is, but... Yeah, Worital. Wor uh, who? Worital. Worital. Yeah. But they did a good job. Um, there's certain books you look at and then you're scary. You're, sorry, they, they look scary to you. They're like, oh, I can't read that book. It's, it's not that because of the size, but just looking at the book, this is a very friendly approach to uh, getting people to actually read stuff. Yeah. And one thing that you mentioned, which I found very, very interesting, is the fact that you are not motivating anybody. Oh. That's something most people who are writing books about themselves need to learn. And I'm thinking that, oh, you got that right right from the start. People always like to take the past, brush over the ugly parts and recycle it for more than it's uh, worth. I mean, what's the point? Yeah, yeah, you didn't do that. I made mistakes, I put them down here. I'm not telling you that, hey, your life is going to be grand and all not of that. Rosy, yeah. It's not rosy, yeah, but I'm not going to preach to you about it. You know, and that's, that's fantastic. Well, very, very interesting, Olisa. Um, now, apart from this, are we looking forward, because you write so well, are we looking forward to any other efforts? Yeah, I mean, uh, I, was, I was trying to write something on real estate, but I just thought I should, you know, hold on a bit. Um, but something else on entrepreneurship is going to come, you know. I mean, I just need to have a lot more experience, you know. Mm. You know maybe 10 years, I don't know, five yeah. years, maybe. Okay, okay. that's good. Well, in the meantime, this is plenty enough and we're going to enjoy this uh, for well, a while to come. Thank you very much, Elisa. Um, I also um, well, implore people out there to try and find that one and read it. So you want to start a business. It's very relevant to our time and our age right now when everybody's thinking about starting a business. Yes, it's the best thing to do, but... Get ready, condition your mind, like Olisa has said. It's gonna be tough. But strap in, don't worry, you'll get to the end of it.